Good day, everybody. My name is Clinton Mubaja, and my research project topic will be on false advertising. False advertising, in my words, would be the misleading of customers to buy or purchase products in which they think they're receiving something else by the end of the day, or when they receive it, it's, some, it, it, it's not what they thought it would be. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, this is the crime or tort of publishing, broadcasting, or otherwise publicly distributing an advertisement that contains untrue or misleading content. I picked this topic because after uh, my experiment and research, or during my research, the facts I found about false advertising intrigued me in, to know more about this topic. And according to Latour, he conducted an experiment in 2009 to see if people's emotions were affected by the success ability to know this false advertising. And he used this, he used Disney, uh, the Disney, he used the Bugs Bunny, he used uh, happy and or natural sad films and questionnaires. And the result of this actually found out that people who were shown the positive film before the Disney advertisement were more likely to detect that Bugs Bunny wasn't a Disney character. Also, you know, Erkis and Kesser conducted an experiment to determine the difference of effect of mobile advertising between the youth and the adults. This was in 2011, and it was limited because it was only conducted in Turkey. They had a large sample of 200 youths and 200 adults. They had assessed people's demographic characteristics and experiments and experience with also mobile advertisements. And the result of this found out that youth thought advertisement had more personalized withheld incentives, while adults thought advertisement was less personalized. This happened in 2011. These two experiments are relevant to my experiment because false advertising can actually affect our interest in a specific product, depending on our emotions. And also, as a youth, I was more successful to advertising and believe that advertisements were personal, which is the same thing the youth in the experiment believed. As a result, I wanted to explore uh, a false advertisement and Nabisco Oreos, we all know Oreos, that's one of the companies that have, I believe, that have actually implemented false advertising in the marketing industry. And my research question is, does Nabisco double stuffed Oreos actually contain double the cream filling? This is a question we all, we Oreo lovers would love to find out. And according to my research, my experiment, I have a sample size of 30 on both cases. On the double stuffed Oreo and the second double stuffed Oreo, I have the sample mean of the two. They have their values. And I have the simple and the sample standard deviation. I weigh the individual filling of each cookie by grams for both the double stuffed and the original that recorded it. After I got the average of both, I multiplied the original Oreo sample mean by two. As you can see, I have the confidence interval equation up there. I also have written it out up here. And I have a t-test equation. And this, these are self-explanatory. I also have a null hypothesis equation and an alternative hypothesis equation. Although they do look alike, these are different. This is kind of like the opposite of this. If you notice, this does not equal to this and this does. And this is the H prime. The degrees of freedom in, in my experiment were 29. And the T star value, 2.045. T test value, 4.124. And these two are the confidence interval values. This is the slope for the experiment, for those that would like to know. And after my research and experiment, I found out that our T test values and results 
was within the rejection area of my normal distribution graph. As a result, I must reject the null hypothesis. My evidence does suggest that the cream and double stuff Oreos tend to not have double the cream or double the amount of original Oreos cream. And this is a problem. I did run into some limitations in this experiment. One of them was, of course, all the cream could not be scraped off the, the cookie. And that was one of the limitations because as we were scraping them off, we just couldn't get every single part of the cream off. Also, the cookies that were selected weren't randomized. I bought a single packet of each from Walmart, the same Walmart. I didn't buy any individual, you know, cookies at any different grocery stores, or I didn't compare different brands. I used the same brand, Nabisco Oreo. The amount of cookies also in the package of the Oreo, original Oreos, had more cookies in the package of the double stuffed Oreos. In the original Oreos, there were 30 cookies. In the double stuffed Oreos, there were 36. Obviously, we could have made a type one error in this case, and we all know what that is. Um, my conclusion, I decided to investigate false advertising of Nabisco Oreo double, uh, double cream fillings because I'm a personal fan of Oreos and I love cookies, I love food. And I wanted to actually see if the double stuff Oreos actually had double the cream, you know. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> My evidence does suggest that the cream in the double stuff Oreos tend to have not the double cream, but not as much as you think it would have, but you know, with what they say, like the double stuff Oreo comes with double cream, that's false, according to my research. This shows that Nabisco has been false advertising this product, and the double stuff Oreos is not a ripoff, but the advertisement, the marketing strategy is a ripoff. And this goes to show that false advertising still exists because. We as uh, you know, youths or college students, we don't really care about, you know, we just, we just see the advertisement or commercial and automatically believe whatever we see. Sometimes we actually need to crack the you know, barriers and also actually understand what we're actually purchasing or if they actually meet the company's you know, standards. <laughs> These are my references, and I hope I have been able to convince you and not confuse you that Nabisco actually false advertises. Thank you.